The Greyhound breed can be traced back to ancient Egypt, the year 3000 BC. They were also known to accompany the goddess Diana in mythical art. They were there for companionship along with protection. Jumping forward to the Middle Ages, only nobles were allowed greyhounds. Anyone responsible for the death of a greyhound could be executed. Greyhounds have a nickname. This is 40 mile an hour couch potato, as they would prefer to sit and relax all day rather than run. This goes to show that the dogs don't want to race and it's not what they're supposed to do. It's because trainers breed these dogs in order to find the fastest and the best. Due to overpopulation, around 8,000 pups are killed every year because they're deemed unlikely to race. When it comes to the end of a greyhound's racing career, greyhounds can be lucky and given to a rehoming centre, but due to the fact that 8,000 dogs retire each year, not all are lucky enough to make it to a good home. According to research done around rehoming centres, the minority are rehomed and sadly the majority are killed. Some owners offer them free on websites like Gumtree. More often than not, the abuse continues and some people even use the dogs as bait in illegal dog fighting. My name is Sinead Power and I'm 19 years old. Linford Miller, I'm 20. My name's Callum Ramsey and I am 20 years old. My name's Mandy Luckham, I'm 41. David Luckham, 40 years of age. Against. Against it. Against the person. Neither. I don't really have much of an opinion on it because I don't really know much about it. Because I feel like it's unfair to force the dogs to, to race when um, they're not really getting any choice. You know, they obviously can't tell you whether they want to do it or not, so I feel like it's unfair. Um, and I've heard that they're treated not very nicely, um, so I just feel like it's unfair. Because I don't really know much about it in the first place. Like I've always heard stuff about mistreatment of the animals and stuff, but I'm not really. I've never really looked into it too much. I'm against it because I know that the dogs ain't treated right and looked after properly. But I'm not against it if the dogs were actually treated right looked after, rehomed after the race. Because the dogs don't choose it. A greyhound likes to run for fun. Not for because they're forced to do it, not because someone fires a starter pistol and scares them enough to make them leg it round a track. So no, I'm not for it, I'm against it. Um, well, I've been to the races a few times, I just didn't know the background to it. And Having a grey, having adopted a grey and looking into it, you, you see the the darker side of it and the, the way they're treated. So I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm against it now. Not too sure because it's a tricky one. Because obviously, if they're treated better, that's great. But they're still being forced to do something that they've not really got any choice in. Maybe they don't want to, to race, you know, I mean, you can never know how they truly feel and from from the look of it and the way that um, they're overly worked and they're always tired and they often get ill and injured, it just still, still doesn't seem fair. Yeah, if the dogs were treated well, then there wouldn't be anything wrong with it if they were treated well and everything was alright, then there wouldn't be any problem with it, but obviously with the things of it being mistreated then, it makes it more of a negative. Probably. Uh, no, because the only way they can get them to do what they need to do is by the means that they use at the moment, starving them, scaring them. There's been some stories where they've put, um, they've starved them for so long, they've put drugs on their gums like cocaine and amphetamine so that the, the hyper and when the rabbit does go, the, and the, the bang scares them the, the quicker out of the block. But then later on it's horrible to watch them come down. And, um, if they then don't perform after that, they're destroyed or just left to, to rot. Um, I read that either 
some of them get euthanised because they're injured and too poorly to go to a good home. So they have to be put down, which is awful. Um, but sometimes if the owners treated them fairly well and they can, um, they can sort of be rehomed and given to a family that are willing to look after them. No, I would assume they get rehomed and looked after. I've heard stories of them being maimed, having their ears cut or burnt to get rid of the identifying tattoos. I've heard stories of them being killed at tracks. Um, the lucky ones would be um, given to the likes of the Dogs Trust. And I know some of them just get dumped in the streets, things like that. Um, no, I didn't realise what happened to Greyhounds when they'd retired until only when I'm looking into it. Um, if they don't perform or if they don't make enough money, they're either just killed or just thrown out. Um, but I do know these days these charities and the dogs trust that are big, are in, like, involved heavily in taking them and getting them there uh, fit again and then hopefully rehousing them in fucking homes. You may be wondering what a knacker's yard is. Not a clue. No. A knacker's yard is supposed to be a, a place where they can take them and have them humanely destroyed. But So that's where they go and they get a bolt to the brain. Then, yeah. Uh, so basically that's just a modern day version of the Nazi concentration camps, only for dogs. And we wouldn't choose that as a human, so why would a dog choose it? Here you go, we're going to make you run, we're going to starve you, we're going to be abuse you, and then when we're done doing that, we're going to put you to death. No, this is why I'm against it. As far as I'm concerned, the pets, the part of the family, they're not to make money off. And the people who choose to do that, in my opinion, are scum. Sounds disgusting. I didn't specifically look to get a greyhound for a pet. Um, we decided we wanted to adopt a rescue dog and we were on our way to the Dogs Trust and on the website you can look at pictures of the dogs and read about them and I really like the sound of him and then once I met him I fell in love with him um, he was really emaciated and really nervous when we first got him and he's really happy now, he's really confident um, he's filled out his perfect weight when he has his health checks at the vets um, he's really good, he socialises with other dogs in the family and stuff, he's extremely loving, lies on the settee with me every night cuddling, um, he's just lovely, he's got an absolutely wonderful nature. Well, we don't know, we didn't actually go in with the intentions of choosing a greyhound, we went in to adopt a dog, but um, they told us to, to meet Blue, he came in and fell in love with him, so... He was right home, and that's, that, that's, that's the story. Yes, greyhounds love to run, but there's a difference between running for fun and running after a mechanical lure. They may seem to enjoy it, but just remember, everything isn't always as it seems. Greyhounds are such loving animals, all they want is someone to care for them and someone to love them. Greyhounds are addictive, once you get a greyhound you'll always have a greyhound. <laughs>